Hello and welcome everyone, Lana here, and today we have my Norska campaign as Wolfric the Wanderer. This is a Twitch series that I'm doing over on the Total War official Twitch every Wednesday. I'm recording it while I stream and then uploading it to YouTube a few days later. So the videos for this series will be a lot longer than my normal ones, uh, probably between an hour to two hours in length most of the time. Um, so without further ado, we're going to jump on over to the live stream footage. Obviously I have a face cam and all that and uh, I will be interacting with the Twitch chat but feel free to leave suggestions down in the comment section. Uh, my plan is to always make sure I get the uh, upload of the stream up before the next stream so that I can always take on board YouTube feedback as well. Feel free to leave a like and uh, yeah this will be uh, a once a week upload series. I'll try and see if I can keep it to a Friday upload slot um, but keep your eyes and ears peeled on my social media for any updates to that. Enjoy! Let's do this. I'll shut up during the intro and the advisor fly over so you guys can enjoy that and then we will crack on. Let's do this! Those in the north are closest to the gods. Their lands lie within the ebbing shadow of chaos. For in the land of monsters and ice, where no crops grow, they have to be. Thus, I have come to guide their raw talent. Why waste such savagery on each other, while the southern lands are ripe for ravaging? Kills every time. We became them. I wonder who the voice actor is for Wolfric, because he is he sounds pretty badass. Getting some getting some Tormund vibes. Glory to you, Wolfric, wanderer of the world. You have returned home a slayer of champions. Yet more battles and glory awaits across the Sea of Claws and in the mountains of Norska. Around you, the tribes of Norska hunger for blood, yet they fight amongst themselves. With such rich offerings beyond your borders, you must rally these hardened souls beneath your banner. To the east, the mountains contain great labyrinths and lairs that are home to formidable beasts. Hunt down these creatures, ensnare them to do your bidding whilst being ever watchful of the nearby dwarfs. To the south, Kislev, ruled by overconfident Tsars. These lands are rich with wealth. Tear these men of the bear limb from limb, opening a path for your masters to aid you in due course. Beyond Kislev, lies the Empire. Its bickering states of power are ripe with treasures. 
take from these soft southern lands and establish new ports on their shores from which you can raid further. Wolfric, you are the eternal challenger, and your gods have blessed you with the gift of tongues. Embody their cold, ruthless nature, and set sail aboard Seafang for wrath and ruin. The harsh and desolate wastes of Norska embrace you into its cold and wintry grip, my lord. Yet it cannot sustain your appetite for war indefinitely. You will need to voyage from this land to raid and pillage. Your gods will gaze favorably upon you for this. Raise in their name and align yourself with one to be granted their twisted and ruinous gifts. Okay, so yeah, someone was saying, like, does not get to interact with us or what? Yeah, I was just being quiet for the whole intro stuff. Now that's done, we can get stuck in. So, yes, I'll be looking over at the chat. Ah. <sighs> but anyway, we have the first mission, the Land of Ice and War, which is attain level 1 legions with any god, treasury plus 1,000. Although I'm probably not going to do that too, too early because we want to... I'm going to try and play it similarly to how I have done in my Throg Let's Play. I've done two episodes so far. Another episode's going out tomorrow on my YouTube channel. Um, and with Throg, uh, within those two episodes so far, I've pretty much managed to unite nearly all of Norska because um, when you take out or rather defeat an enemy faction, Norskan faction leader in battle, uh, they'll immediately accept a peace and a confederation because you've bested them basically so within their tribe they are no longer seen as the mighty warrior and kind of no longer fit to lead them uh, so you can kind of instantly get a confederation that way so early game is pretty much you know grab as many um, of these other Norskan uh, factions like you know take out their fight find and hunt down their faction leaders uh, and then you can easily confederate with them and you grab a lot of territory that way pretty quickly. How long will we be streaming for? I will be streaming for just under two hours. We'll be stopping this at 9pm. So, Wolfie the Wanderer. Got him here. We are at war with the Scaling and Bretonia. Scaling's lord is Felman Ingersun. Hello, hello, hello. What is everyone saying in the chat? Uh, next third age series after Castle Doom. Um, I'm not actually sure yet. I'm not actually sure. I need to have. I need to have a think through what my next series are going to be because there's there's you know, um, you know, in was it September 28th is Warhammer 2's release. So I don't want to be starting too many series in between now and then. I might do a lot of kind of little mini series. Um, so I can fully focus on Warhammer 2 when that comes out um, and then of course I'll follow up with other Total War content afterwards. I'll go up there, they've got five treasures, so Scaling have got two, they've only got um, the Longship Graveyard and the Doom Keep. Are they at war with anyone else? They're at war with just me, Vargon at war with anyone, I imagine that will all change in the first turn. And Throg with Wintertooth is at war with the Nagel Farlings. Okay. Oh, we've already got a non-aggression pack with these guys, so hopefully we can just push up that way a little bit. I will hear you. Bah, bah. But if you get a frost worm, name it Frank the Ice Destroyer. <laughs> right. Where does our territory line end? Quite literally just there. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Where's my next Oh, I'm going to go straight after the Longship Graveyard. World Walker. Could wait a turn. Probably will go for recruitment costs for Marauders, because we're going to be getting a lot of those. Do you know there's a dragon? Yeah, this, this is Tim the Dragon. Any idea what the next game after Warhammer 2 will be? Well, I... They're doing their Total War Saga series as well, which are stuff like um, Napoleon, Fall of the Samurai, kind of standalone um, titles that focus on kind of some sort of like flashpoints and things like that. So I imagine we'll get that before we get the kind of next big, big Total War as such. 
Yeah, let's go straight after Longship Graveyard. Yeah, Wood Elf mini campaign might be might be a good filler. That's true. Um, over here, we haven't got a, the income building here yet. We can't upgrade this until we have two growth. But yeah, let's go get that so we can get more of the Berserkers and Hunters because they're quite nice. A straight Fjord. Do we have any special buildings over here? No, just the standard bits and pieces. That's fair enough. That's our only line of income. The First Ash, Beast Tanner, and Slaver's Camp. So we're going to be sacking and raising and raiding a lot of the time. So uh, that all done. End the turn. Do I watch Game of Thrones? Oh, of course I watch Game of Thrones. Yes. I do indeed. Um, I think the DLC, Norsk DLC, should be out tomorrow at 3 p.m. BST. Going by a, a tweet Total War had on their Twitter earlier. And of course, the uh, foundation um, kind of patch alongside that everyone will get. Whether they're getting the DLC or not. Right. Yeah, let's jump on in and fight this one. Get some little freaking at into the action. Three PM BST, not GMT, I'd say. We're still on British summertime over here. The third level of loot pile. As uh, yes, there is one that has an upkeep reduction. Um, it's the growth line. It's a one percent um, upkeep reduction. So well, that may not seem like a lot, but if you you know ten of them around, it's another ten percent, which is quite useful. Take a look at these guys in a minute. Let's just set them up. Got the chariots. Skin wolves, I'm actually quite excited because I haven't had a chance to really use them too much in my Throg series yet. Here's Wolfric. Plus he's got a lot of some flayed... I don't know, just... Just some flayed foe with their skin and some arms. What's left of their skin. I kind of feel like um, he's putting the Boltons to shame here. The foundation patch might break your Wurzag campaign with all the mods. Uh, well, thankfully, um, Creative Assembly, when they release a new update, they actually allow you in the betas tab to go back to a previous patch. So if it does break my Bloody Hands campaign, I'll just drop back to the previous patch. But hopefully all the mods should be updated pretty soon. So it shouldn't take too long. Vampire skin, isn't it? Is it a vampire? Um, uh, just like a, just a normal, more, normal chap there. <laughs> He's a Bolton, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, dear. But yeah, they got the all the skulls. I like it. Is that a, a troll skull there, or an orc, orc skulls in there? He's got all the skulls. We've got marauders, and then I put my berserkers over here. Yeah. As you can see, the Norsecan berserker has developed a hairy chest to keep the nipples warm in winter. Um, and then we have our skin wolves, with still bits of their, their human skin, I think it is, all draped over them. Uh, Dwarven Civil War, I am hoping I'm going to get a chance to do that this weekend. If not, the worst case scenario is um, if I need a filler series, basically, between me finishing some series and Warhammer 2 coming out, it'll be stuff like that that I do. I love that we've actually got these massive like wolves pulling the chariots. They look awesome. The cold is refreshing, exactly. Give it like a like a Spartan. Um, it's like just a training regiment, I guess. You know, from birth. Chops off, chaps. Just have your loincloths on. That's all you need. Even in the snow. Um, I think Janky Fish is away this weekend, so we won't be streaming more CK2, but I'll be exporting more of the stream over to my YouTube channel, my House Mormont series. All right, so these guys are actually a ranged chariot, armored, armor-piercing missiles, anti-infantry, and frostbite. And frostbite's quite quite nice because it uh, minus 52 speed for six seconds. 
Uh, yes, it will be at EGX. I'll be at EGX for the Thursday and Friday. They've got some Marauder Hunters up front, and I have no missiles besides the Chariot, so... I'm gonna go clash with them. My Skin Wolves are anti-large frenzy with regeneration, so we're gonna just throw them into the Marauders for now. Let's see if the Chariot with a melee attack through does a bit of damage. Oh, yes. It, oh, into the next one as well. Pull them through. Uh, that's it. Come on. Get out of there, Chariots. Take a look at these Skin Wolves. Get some slow-mo action just to check these guys out. Swiping paws. There's the wind-up. Oh, and there's the slap. Yeah, and all the times that I've been absolutely wrecked by, um... Oh, this is a good ability. There we go. Sea Fang. It's his ship. There we go. In come the chance. All the times I've been absolutely wrecked by just massive stacks of chaos forces with their uh, chariots. Now I get now I get a chance to uh, go after them with chariots. Chariots are even more powerful. Well, I don't think it's necessarily even more powerful. I think they're just... They're just powerful anyway. Yeah, sorry. Sorry if it does occasionally drop a few frames on the stream. My internet has issues. Which I'm still waiting to get resolved. But unfortunately, it's going to be a... A wait while my internet provider upgrades their hardware. So just all, all mob them over here. Stuck in. Skin walls just oh, leaping on in. Goodbye. Surfer, a chariot spam army. Yeah, hell, yeah, he's getting a chariot spam. Pat should be at 3 p.m. BST tomorrow. Right, end the battle because it's settlement, so they'll fall. All of the mammoths. I want all the mammoths. How long has this been going on? Um, about 20 minutes or so. Yeah, chariots. Chariots are pretty, pretty powerful. Um, pretty OP. I think it was. I'm trying to remember if it was in my Von Karstein series. I found throwing. Um, lots of Vargeists at them seem to work all right. This settlement is yours to do with as you please, whether that be the establishment of a camp to recruit and build from, or to devote it to one of the gods by raising it to ash and ruin, gaining their favor and gifts. Hmm. Okay, so yeah, we have our options to raise the settlement for one of the gods, the hound, the crow, the eagle, or the serpent. But, uh, I'm not going to raise it because I want to keep all the territories myself. I'll be doing this raising, um, probably in a lot of kind of empire settlements, I would imagine, that aren't on the coast. Because anything that is on the coast, I want to make use of as a, as a port and what have you. Um... But yeah, probably later on, I would imagine, like the Hound, possibly, possibly. We are, I'm not, I'm not even going to sack it, actually, at this point. I'm just going to occupy it. Because we're still getting, still getting income because we didn't recruit any troops to start with. So we're going to grab some more units. I'm going to go for three missile units to start with. So we need to, if we want to finish off the scaling, we need to head up to the Doom Keep, get Felman Ingerson. Take him out as soon as possible. We are at war with Britannia as well, but we shouldn't have any issues with them. To start with, they should be busy with the Skull Smashers. So yeah, we've just got another port there. 
So we're all good. Let's end the turn. Oh, he's got a skill point. Of course, we actually we haven't looked through his skills. So yeah, he's got Sea Fang, um, which is strong versus 120 men units or above. It just plows through them all. We'll go for Root Marcher first. But uh, he can get a Norskin Warhorse, a Marauder Chariot, and then a War Mammoth at level 18. The War Mammoth is quite good, but then he, he's a he's a pretty solid fighter, so always kind of to weigh that one up. And then we'll probably go with Tough and Fighter's Weapon Strength for Marauder Cavalry units, Marauder um, and Reload time for them. Everyone else the Sal. There's even more melee attack for Mammoths. Fight and Die is quite a nice one. Leadership and melee attack. But we'll probably go along the top line first for Fearsome Warriors. Berserkers can get plus 15 melee attack from that line. Right, you guys are talking about dropping um, frost worms on chariots to stop them. Sounds like it would work. Okay, we've got a few more troops. I think we're just going to try and gather as many of our forces together as we can. Um, so, Longship Graveyard, it's all part of the same one, so we actually want to move on to take Doom Keep pretty quickly. Um, we need to head on this way then. We want to get some infantry. We can now get the Berserkers, so let's grab three of them. Uh, might go for the Hunters. Might just go for some Spearmen. Are you ready for mammoth spams from the AI? So, to be fair, I would to <laughs> I would totally be up for uh, for facing armies of enemy mammoths. I mean, I probably wouldn't after like the first time. That would, that would probably be enough. I'd be like, mm -oh. no, thank you. But you know, it'd be not, it'd be pretty cool to see. I'm going to go for weapon strength next for the uh, Marauder infantry units. Uh, compatibility with the. Steel Faith uh, mod, yeah, it's uh, it's not compatible at the moment. Um, I haven't I haven't actually tested it on this build because I keep swapping between the two. Um, this preview build that I've got um, that will obviously be redundant from tomorrow. But um, I would imagine it's not it's not compatible normally. Normally mods aren't. Um, should we go for some more hunters or shall we spearmen or more berserkers? What do you reckon to fill up Wolfric's army a little bit more? Yep, this is on very hard. Orc Let's Play, I'm using Steel Faith and the Maps mod, wondering if it take a few weeks. Um, I think with the Maps mod and Steel Faith, the mod teams for both of those are really active, so hopefully it won't take more than a week for them to kind of update. Yeah, spearmen, hunters, two spear, spearmen, berserkers, one of each, spearmen. Spears, but you guys are saying spears. So we'll go for two spears. And do I want to get the hunters, or I could go for another javelin unit? Because the hunters are, are, are nice, but they've only got 65 range. I might just go for another javelin unit. And one marauder. We could go for another marauder unit, actually, for shields. Yeah, for our main line. That's a good chat. Let's do that for now. I might, I might get another javelin unit. Oh, hello. You guys over here. Beast men. You're at war with, you're at war with the wood elves and you're up there. Oh yeah, yeah, because you like literally just spawn everywhere. So, are these guys at war with anyone yet? No, they've actually, they've actually all, oh, they're at war with Kislev. Varga at war with Kislev. Everyone else though is just chilling. Okay. To the four corners. Uh, we probably should take the time to just get a full stack while we can, or at least 19. So, another javelin. <laughs> um, another javelin unit. I get another, another two spearmen units actually, just so we can kind of pin up anything anti-large or just pop them on the flanks. Right, then we're marching towards Doom Keep. We have to try and draw them out, probably. I doubt they're on their way to us. We might try and ambush. 
Okay, and what do you guys reckon? Should we go for them now with 19, or should we take one more turn? Get one more unit. DLC should be coming out, I think, at 3 p.m. BST, although I think some people on, were saying that Steam was saying it was coming out a little bit later. I don't know if that's been corrected or not. So I would imagine between 3 p.m. BST and 5 p.m. BST. You guys saying, go, go, go. Go, 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 go. Okay, so, forward we go. And the nice thing is we can always go into raiding stance. Raiding stance for Norskan factions uh, requires no um, remaining movement. So we can always go into it, which gives us a little bit more income. Um, yeah. And turn again. Blood for the Blood God. Tomorrow is the day of the Frosty North. Heartstone gets its Knights of the Frozen Throne, and Warhammer gets Norska. Ooh, timing. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Watch out, Varg. They start with a mammoth. Oh, yes, they do. I miss getting it in my confederation. Previously, um, right. Let's just move. They're here. They are still within the Doom Keep. Plus the Doom Keep's forces. Let's head on in. Still gonna, still gonna keep raiding. Norska is what the common folk of Westeros picture the wildlings to be like. Right. Okay, so they have like one more unit than me. My challenge? Oh. What say you, chat? Should we go in or should we try and ambush and draw them out? Let me know. Nordland and Marienburg at war. And Heimlings and Hellspire tribe. Okay, so you guys have three territory and you guys have three. Okay, pretty even. I actually, in my Throg campaign, got the, I think it was the Hellspire tribe to join me in a war, because I was kind of wanted them just to weaken themselves up, and then I could just pick off their their faction leaders. They're all broken, which is quite nice. Go, go, go. Attack. Ambush. How long are you going to play this campaign? I'm going to be playing this for another uh, hour and 20 minutes. Ambush. How long are you going to... Ambush. Go, go in. Ambush. Draw out. Go, 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 go. Attack now, ambush, raid. If thing is, if we wait, they're gonna recruit more troops. That's why we can attack you, so flank them. So attack you, flank them. Yeah, we're going in. We're going in. Order resolve says we got this. They ha oh wow, they got a lot of hunters. The I do like the Marauder champions. They are nice. Right, let's go on in and kill these guys. Hello, 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 everyone joining. Well, 567 viewers. Everyone keen for some Norske action. It is an e It should be an easy win. Although I still don't trust the order resolve bar sometimes. But, mm, nah. Javelin's out in front. We've got the Marauders directly behind that. And we have enough for two spear units on either side. And then these guys, I'm going to place two of them on each side as well, so we can just kind of tear them up from the flanks. So plan chariot, yeah, we'll pop you out wide because we saw that actually work quite nicely in melee, just for some shock charges and the skin wolves at the flanks as well behind the berserkers. Uh, I'm going to throw Wolfric into the mix, All right? Push forward a smidge. Get Chewy again. <laughs> It's going to be uploaded to YouTube. I actually am recording this at the same time, so I may well throw this out onto my YouTube channel in the next few days. So, uh, my plan is over. Basically, my plan until Warhammer 2 comes out, or until uh, Creative Assembly allow me to start previewing Warhammer 2 uh, content in live streams, I'm going to carry on this Warfrit campaign as a Twitch series here on the Total Warfish Twitch every Wednesday where I can. I'll record it and I'll throw it onto YouTube as just a bonus thing. Screw my beard, just like Warfrix. I I would love to. The girlfriend, on the other hand, I think might have some words. Um, <laughs> mainly, no. <laughs> she did not appreciate the beard that uh, that wild. 
Okay, more javelins are coming. We're gonna hit them hard on this flank here. I'm not attacking in the center yet because I want to draw them round. I want to sort of draw them into the center. Plenty of time for my javelins to really have a good old, good old throw. Lords over there. I actually kind of want to get Wolfric over to a flank so I can get a nice kind of wind of death sort of angle. That's it, just envelop them on the sides. Javelins. There we go. And let's see if we can't get a nice old ship through there. Seafang away. Oh yeah, that went well. Oh yes. Beautiful. In we go. Wolfric's just uh, hacking away at him. It's pretty close, actually. Oh, no, it's not. Wolfric just got a massive hit in. Skin wolves, you're doing plenty of damage. That's what we'd like to see. Finishing Wolfric. Skin Wolves are just munching up those javelins. Yeah, finishing Wolfric. Nice, there we go. Wonderful. Right, we can see Fang again. Let's see if we can pop it there. Yep, wrecked. Very satisfying. Naval broken. Victory is within our grasp. Our lord has fallen. I mean, we would normally after this confederate if they had any more settlements, but they don't, so this is the end. The end for the scaling. We do have troops coming back, yeah. They do tend to kind of rally up quite nicely. Not over till it's over. Javelin's decent in um, melee. Uh, they've got twenty six melee attack. Someone should also hurt your own troops. I think so, yes. I think it does have a fair bit of friendly fire. That's just broken. Which unit size is Magic Bands around? Um, I think it's normal. So anything, anything higher than that and it's just out of whack. Just gotta be careful because they're rallying here. Let's get back in here. Chaos Marauders. Now is 
these javelins have come back again. We'll free get back. Skin wolves are on their way. Harriet's come on. Those guys are out of it. Let's just get the skin walls up over there. Come on. I think I've broken enough their units now. Give up. There we go. There we go. Pyrrhic victory. Costly, but we've taken them out. Yeah, sorry if, um, if, if there is some lag. My stream be dropping frames. Alas. Take them out. We'll be getting 118 kills. Chariot got 207. Tribe, my lord. Thank you. Gavin's 122, 103, 91, 118. Gimwall's 145. They fought well. Zerka's 159. Beautiful. Right. Uh, I am going to sack you and then occupy. Potion of Toughness. And we can get Icehorn Marauders now. I'll go straight in and occupy. Can subjugate, but I want it all for myself. Right. I want to. There's some Warriors, Berserker units. Champions of the North, Champion Standard die. Beast Slayers, Marauder Spearmen, Bonus versus Large, Ardent Hunters, Bits and Warriors, so for the Berserkers, yeah, let's go for that. Make Berserkers just super powerful. Boom, 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 boom. Uh, Wolfric starting units are a uh, Ice Wolves Chariot, Skin Wolves, and I think it's a Berserker unit. We've got here. Oh, we can get horsemen. Okay. Oh, we can get chariots from there. Uh, for now, though, I'm going to get rid of it because we want income. We want the first dash. Much easier to actually keep positive income with uh, Wolfric. Not that it's going to last. L need to last long. Um, because we'll soon be raiding and sacking more. Upgrade Doomkeep as well. Yep, yep, yep. Plenish up for a couple of turns, and then we need to choose our next target. But what we'll probably do is see who's. Um, Sort of the weakest. Might I mean I have another aggression pack with the Van Heimling, seeing as they're at war with the Hellspire tribe. I might just jump on to the Hellspire tribe. Um, the Varg are the strongest. They're at war with Cracker uh, Cracker Drac. Kind of hoping though that um, Wintertooth will move up and threaten them soon. Yeah, probably the Hellspire tribe is where we're going to look to next. So let's end the turn, see what happens. Streaming for another hour and ten. Where are my mammoths at? I can't get mammoths yet. But if we find the Varg and jump on their faction leader, they start with mammoths. Okay, we've now got plus ten percent weapon strength for marauder infantry units, which is rather nice. Um, that is melee defense and attack for all mar marauder units, ammunition stuff. So yeah, we're gonna go through axe makers stone and butchers captives next. I haven't seen Dunkirk yet, actually. I I need to go and see that. Over at the Doom Keep first dash, so we can just get some more money. Slowly coming in. Their public order is uh, just about sorting itself out. Three turns, we can upgrade Ice Drake Fjord. Get Hellspire on three. And their lord is Ulf, Aina's son. Aina's son. Let's try and find him. Or we jump on the Varg. 
because we can probably hit um, Nagalfari Plain, Sol Encampment, and Bear Blades quite nicely in the Tower of Crack, and then they've got the Vine Encampment back here. What do you reckon? Who should we go for? Let me know in the comment section. A comment section? Chat section? You Twitch chat, that's what I mean. Um, in fact, let's get another unit in here. Let's get a... Oh, Berserker. The monster hunts. Um, yeah, I could go for that for research. I just don't think we've got the the strength. Yeah, I haven't dived into that in my Throg series yet either, actually. Taking my time. Just mainly to consolidate against Norska. The monster hunts aren't going to go anywhere. Disappeared at Lightstrike Fjord. Okay, yeah, so we've got some money. So everyone's saying, God. Close that a sec. See, Varg, Varg, Varg. Oh, wow, you're all saying jump on the Varg. Bretonia, Raid Bretonia. When I've got like a second army, sure, 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 sure. You guys are saying Varg. Right, well. That's what's out. To be fair, to be fair, if the Vanaheimlings do well against Hellspire Tribe, they'll slowly deteriorate against us anyway, but we can just kind of jump on them later. They let those two bash each other. So let's go for the Varg. Okay, so, well, <laughs> first target. Very nice and easy to get. Um, I don't think we need to heal up any further. Let's do it. And sack and occupy, yep. An unstoppable force. Although actually what we could do is if we're planning on going after their, their faction leader, the Varg is um, Surfer Ek on his chariot, we can just find him and then we don't need to bother taking any of these now. We can just sack them. We'll just gain them all through Confederation. I think I might do that. So let's just jump back on into the Doom Keep. Uh, set that to upgrade. They're both going to upgrade next turn. Can't get any heroes just yet. A challenge? Uh, Fist and Warriors, yep, Berserkers to start buffing you up. Because, I mean, you guys already have 45, well, 40 attack, now you've got 45. Could burn. I could burn it down towards one of the gods, but I'd rather keep it for now. Because I'm literally just going on a hunt to wipe out their lord. Although, something has just wiped out the Sarl encampment. No walls for Norsk and set ones. No, there's not. And they've just gone off of that one. Who just took out that? Oh, <laughs> now they've got Wintertooth at war with them as well. Yeah, it's Throg, I think. Because Throg has moved up over here. Okay. Me and Throg. Well, we're only one out on both those guys. So let's move him over here. Hey, Throggy. What are you doing? You've got tr ice trolls. There he is. With an Ek. That bit of blades. Let's force march to move through here a little bit. Then we should be able to hit him next turn. Doom keep. Public order with this building would probably be a pretty good one, uh, but not at the Doom Keep actually, because it's a tier five. So we could go for the growth research rate, and then at tier three Plunder Hall, it's a minus one upkeep for all units if you get a couple of them. So we're good. Kill Throg and Confederate. Um, yeah, that's true. Could just jump on Throggy. That's very true. Don't want to kill Surfer Ek first though. I can just keep confederating, that is very true. Eight. Eight turns, what about eight turns? Do it! Um, go for growth. Gotta wait one more turn till that. Actually, I'm gonna save my money because. Yeah, we'll just save it for now. We'll save it for now. Go for the bay. Nah, Throg's gonna pull back anyway. That's fine. We'll leave. We'll leave Throg for later because he's he's raised Solomon. He's actually built a. 
think it's to the serpent. Ah, he's come to attack me. I'm tired. Oh, and there's the war mammoth. <laughs> do we fight it while we're tired or do we pull back? I think we fight it. Do need growth buildings, it's true. Yeah, but the, the, the dwarves are annoying. That uh, cracker drac. Very powerful. They could be a pain in the bottom to deal with. Yay, Mammoth! You can all resolve and win, that's true. But I would rather fight, and you guys are saying fight as well, so in we go. Uh, you guys, you know, you want blood for the blood god. Get the Mammoth, so yeah, we've got to break the Mammoth. And then when we confederate, we'll have it. So we need all these javelins, which are anti-large, to focus that mammoth. Plus we've got the spears for anti-large. So hopefully they can help. And these skin wolves are anti-large as well. So we want them wherever the mammoth is. I'm hoping he's over on this left flank. I'm going to put the chariot over on the right. Zerkers will pop you just behind here. If a slightly more compact formation today. Where's the mammoth? Mammoth's right in the middle. Okay, okay. Hey, mammoth in the middle. Tim the mammoth enchanter. <laughs> Here's Manny. So, all my javelins on them. There's the mammoth. Let's break the mammoth. If we can. Oh dear. That's rather painful there. My javelins have just walked in as well. Skin wolves though. Okay, yeah, mammoth's, mammoth's broken. Let's not kill it anymore. Hope it doesn't come back. And take out Surf Ek. Okay, Mammoth's back. Let's hit him a little bit more, just enough to break him. Okay, I don't want to kill him, so... I just have to... Break their Lord now. So that the rest of the army breaks. And that's the Skin Wolves. Oh, Wolfric's broken. No! They will Pull on. That could be bad. Very bad. We 
I'm trying to save that mammoth may have Scouts for my armor. Been a bad idea. I'm making my way. They're tired as well. He's on a chariot, which does make things a little bit tougher. Want javelin him. At least the AI can't um, force me to confederate if I uh, lose a battle. Oh, Wolfric, you're being charged by a mammoth. Ow, 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 ow. Okay, no, that, that's that. Oh, ow. Mm -mm. That's that's that. Valiant defeat. Wolfric just got trampled by a mammoth. <laughs> Mammoth's worth, not worth it now. <sighs> I got 210 kills. <laughs> Get on the boat and run. Ow, 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 ow. That hurt. That was, that was painful. Undefeated. I'll see it through. The correct part. Don't even think we can My go for them. Undeniable. Is anyone left alive? Yeah, we've still got we can still got some guys. There's not many of my berserkers. Skin wolves unfortunately went. Which is not good. Never to listen to us just withdraw. <laughs> um I think with what they've got it's the two chariot units. Absolutely solid. So I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna get my bottom out of there. The correct um, another spear unit in there. Ow, 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 ow! All the pain, all the pain, all the pain. Buff those berserkers more. Fifty melee attack. Don't fight when your army's died. Can I kill him now? Pro Thing is, just killing him, I've got to survive all those other units. I don't think it's worth it. Yeah, chariots were were the MVPs there. Ouch, 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 ouch. Thing is, if I can replenish my force quicker than they can, I know that I can get back there and hit them harder. Trying to work out though through the through the darkness where they went. I don't know if they went towards the Sal encampment or not. Tight army is a lack of terrain. Yeah. Jump on in. Yeah, go for another Marauder unit. Mm -mm. Berserkers, Berserkers. Yeah, because we're down the Skin Wolf unit. Uh, and then I can actually grab you guys in here as well. Oh, we can actually get two Berserkers, okay. Get the, or rather, Regiments of Renown. Yeah, we'll just get those two. Let the economy build back up again. Well, income. The chariot's just tipping them if only, if only you could be like, unit, tip, flip, chariot. Ammunition. Okay, that's good now. Oh, that's fine. You're part of them. You're you're kicking Elspire tribe's bottom. We're gonna be replenished next turn, so we'll just save enough off to grab those guys and then keep pushing on. Right. And then we have to find them. Yeah, we'll get regiments for now. They should actually. They'll be able to turn the tide. It's just where that army's gone. If it's Bay of Blades. There'll obviously be a garrison as well, so we've got to remember that. Fresh meat. Oh, campaign map. Moon range. Oh, nice. Vigorous travels. Yoink and yoink. 
Off we go. Okay, yeah, they're back down there. I'm not going to force march again. Well, if I force march, they will probably come and attack me. Will they? No, they won't. Will they? Ooh. What do you reckon? Well, do you reckon? I'm going to sack that one again. That's true. We could have probably done that. Throg smashing everything. More Seven Kingdoms tomorrow. Yeah, what do you reckon? We can raid, or we can force march again. Force march and then we... Yeah, we could always withdraw. That's true, actually. Because actually raiding, we, do, we get nothing out of that. What could go wrong? Again? Like, second time? So they're going to they're gonna finish recruiting some troops, and they'll come at me. Actually, yeah, we don't want to, we don't want to raid because that will give us um, we'll be winded in battle. Why be any weaker? We can't get any territory there. I'm I'm gonna wait. This time we're gonna wait. Then we'll go in. Hey, Gavino, I'm all good. How are you? At least we can see that they're there. Oh, they didn't actually recruit any more units. Oh, okay. Right, we could try and move. Heading out. Move here, and we could try and ambush. See if they'll come toward us. Savages. And Kislev, Bretonia, and Marienburg have made peace. I think we're gonna ambush. And hope that we draw them this way. But I imagine they won't because they're recruiting. But still. Here we go. We are going to get a rebellion here. Very, very soon. That's because I don't have enough money to upgrade that, so we need to smash this army pretty quick. Come on. Come and attack me, Varg. Yeah, wallies. Damn. We've still only got 13. But with the garrison, they'll be up to 19. To do we do we go for round two? <laughs> or do we do we try something else? Oh, they've lost Tower of, of Crack. Actually, the Varga are probably pretty pretty battered right now. We've got two settlements left. I'm sure you have, Chariot Spam Lord. Ambush for the Ambush God. Ambush them selfie kills. We could just move forward a little bit into the woods. Or just in front, like just in front of them, and then ambush to see if we draw them out. So go for round two. <laughs> Do it. He's not sure without skin wolves. It's true. Plans for plans, God. Focus chariots with archer with my uh, with javelins. If you lose again, I'm unsubscribing. <laughs> By probably recruiting more kit chariots. That's true. You know you want to. Ah, okay, fine. Oh god, that mm, that does not look good. Ah, oh, they've got they've got Norsecan warhounds now. I couldn't couldn't circle them, so they've got to come and attack me. It's the, it's the two chariots and Tim. Perfectly on it. <laughs> Run away! Nope. Retreat. Withdraw. You guys saying withdraw now? <laughs> retreat and try and, and try and ambush. If we encircle, they're just going to sally out with with their full force anyway. There's a time to fight and there's a time to run. It's a good time to run. Don't do it. Get wrecked. I yeah. I'm gonna I'm gonna break siege. And where should we where should we ambush? We just try and go like here, and then ambush. Sit right in front of them, so it'll be out of reinforcement range of their settlement. But hopefully enough for them to come out and be like, hey, I saw you there. 
As long as you take out the mammoth, yeah. Well, to be fair, as long as I take out the, um... Chariots. <laughs> Bravely bold Sir Robin. <laughs> If you like you can you can still do that. Close to the woods. Which wood? Uh, there's two woods. Uh, I guess those ones up there. We still got eighty percent ambush. To be fair, it's actually the hills don't the forest don't increase it. Close to the woods that with chariot. Okay, okay, yeah, yeah. that's fine. I, I get that. Yeah, in an actual foresty map, and chariots aren't as good. Eventually, that army has to leave. That's that's. That is true. Eventually they have to leave and then we can jump on them, but we don't want them recruiting more units, really. Ah. And there is that at Ice Drake Fjord. Um, try and fight it. Did lose my settlement? Rip. Yeah, that rebellion. Chaos Marauders! Mortal fools! Chaos Marauders! We might just have to re uh, leave the Varg and pull back. So that are. And just try and draw that army out. So be it. The dark we'll see. We'll see. These are chariots or mammoths. We do have trolls. We do have horsemen. I do like the um, world champions, though. I do think they look nice. See, a bug settlement's close to me. Yeah, so I can pull. I can pull back and hit their other settlement and just claim it for myself. Try and draw them to me. And if we sit back up by Doomkeep. Chaos Marauders! What do you get? Get them. Then uh, we can also sack that Varg settlement and kind of keep the public order. They are sheep. We sheep. Slaughter them. Shields up, Marauders. Brave Art Style, lift your kilts for the shiny moon. <laughs> blood for the blood god. Chaos Marauders! The Marauders. That's what the master spit! Throw those axes! Ah, so throw those axes. Now is our time! Fool! Shit! My god's call! What? Now! Guess what? what? Ah, warhounds are eating my marauders. Just for throwing some axes over here. Trying to flank the trolls with more spears. Those guys have gone though. Let's bring them around behind the back of the halberds. Fighting a chaos rebellion right now. Or uprising, I should say. Actually, got some chaos warriors with them, so pretty tough. And uh, chaos warriors with halberds. Just means it's not going to go that well. Back. 
Got a few of them, but not enough. Oh, no, I don't want to win this one. <laughs> yeah. Nope, 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 nope. Take out the trolls, though. That would just be nice for future. Although, if it doesn't sack us, it will just raise us to the ground. Then it will be gone. You got this, you got this. Oh, maybe not. <laughs> no, not got this. Arr. Cavalry, go away. Making sure the uh, sons of Skyrim can uh, win this one. Oh, he'd been jumped on by the Warhounds. Come on, hunters. Quickly, throw your axes, throw your axes, throw your axes. Quickly, faster, faster. More, more axes. Ouch, ouch. Everything was done. Rip. Well, I mean, he's going to give up soon. You get that. That's that's it. They've given up. A close defeat, apparently. How do you feel about only the Norskin elite having the privilege, privilege of pants in the frozen north while the peasant marauders freeze to death? Is this commentary on class warfare? <laughs> Uh Yeah, it got raised, yeah. That's still not coming out to me. They're building up their force though. I can't really afford to leave that. We need to go sort out of the quarter. So let's go get that settlement. We can always go back and hit the Varg settlement itself. Just hoping I'd get a chance to take them out. What we need to do is try and lure them through the mountains and then ambush them. Up here, it's, we could try and take the, we could take the Sal encampment. What do you reckon? War Council of Twitch chat. We hunted monsters, and became corpses. I'm really not sure what the next his, um, historical title is going to be. Whether that's the you know the Total War saga, the Flashpoint sort of thing. Or, um, you know, the next full, you know, historical title as such. No, go for the plan. Sack. Well, we can't take Bay of the Bay of Blades with the, with the chariots there at the moment and the War Mammoth with their reinforcements. So I've got to try and ambush them later. So, <laughs> can I get onto the modder to make the Norskin Marauders all dance like Wurzag? <laughs> yeah, let's go sack their other towns and reclaim Ice Drake Fjord. So, let's head back over here to Doom Keep and then we'll sack an Agrofari Plain. I think we should. Can we just raise another lord for that? Send him down there to grab it. Mm, probably not just yet. Thing is, we can can get defensive, but they just don't add that much. And that you'd have to get to tier three for it to be really good because you get a feral mammoth then. Uh, but you don't get walls at all. I need more chariots. I need some chariots. Yeah. Any idea if we get a free LC law with this pack? I don't think so. I don't think I've spotted anything extra. I think the kind of the main sort of the free LC is the the foundation patch, and they've gone back and they've tweaked a lot of the other um, original legendary lords and what have you. All right, we'll resolve that one. Quite nice and weak here. We can sack it, and in fact, still, even though it's not that much, I'm I'm gonna sack. I'm gonna keep that there because that's one thousand odd coin that we can take every turn um, from them. Yeah, right. 
Berserkers now have 55 melee attack, which I think is pretty good. Mm -mm -mm. Varg camp is over there. We've got three territories. Oh, yeah, because I haven't taken that one from them. So if we went to the Varg camp, we'd actually probably take it. I can train my... Yeah, that's true. I can train my armies on rebellions. There's going to be another one at Doomkeep pretty soon. Um, we're actually going to need... Probably should reclaim Ice Drake Fjord. What does chat reckon? I go to and reclaim Ice Drake Fjord, our starting settlement, or go for the Varg camp up here. What do you think of the Civ series? I quite enjoy it. I quite enjoy it. I haven't, I haven't actually played Civ 6 for a little while now. Um, let's get back into it. Go and reclaim. The first suggestion. And get over here pretty quick. Go reclaim Varg. Varg first. Get the place started back. Need to cash to reclaim. You don't have much reclaim. Go conquer. Reclaim. Volume taught lessons. Thank you, thank, thank you, Dragon. That's true, actually. We're going to have rebels soon. So let's just. Yeah, okay. I'm going to reclaim, come back, and then deal with the rebels at the Doom Keep. Uh, actually, no, they'll spawn at Ice Drake Fjord. So they'll form at the Ice Drake Cap at the Provincial Capital. We won't upgrade anything yet. We will go for the Varg. They'll turn back around and go for the Varg. And pay the iron price. <laughs> ah, Van Heimings and the Varg are now at war. So, chances are... They're going to go deal with the Varg camp. Because you guys have actually got five territories. And these guys have got one. So these guys are absolutely... Banked the Hellspire tribe. So yeah, I'm going to leave these guys because they're still non-aggression with me. They're actually improving. I will hear you. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, so we'll go reconsolidate our territory, and we'll we'll have to come up against that mammoth again. Watch out for Throg. Yeah, he hasn't he hasn't declared war on us yet. Okay, so yeah, they're actually going to go and hit the... Probably take that settlement. Oh, no. Oh, no. Wintertooth. <laughs> Hang on. Is that, the, is that the one I'm thinking of? Varg camp. Yeah, they have. Throg's gone and taken it. So the Varg are actually just there and Bear Blades. Okay, so we'll go back to Bear Blades shortly. In fact, we could sail round. To reclaim this. The correct path. To the four corners. I'm gonna jump out because I still want that rebellion to happen. Happen in three turns. Will we have replenished up enough though? No, so let's leave them in there for a few turns. Then we'll let the rebellion happen. Rebuild. Save our money for that. Um Doom Keep we could pop that in for slightly more defenders. Mm, no, again, just going to save it. I don't want to go west because that's my, my only... They're not an ally, but they're not aggression at the moment. I'm sure this is a wall. Threat, yeah. Aethroggy. Not... It's not... I don't mind too many of them declaring war on me just because we can... best them. That's why I tried with Gone. Uh, just by finding their lord in combat. We've got two more turns till we're all healed up again. Which is captured, so we've now got that. Okay, I'm going to go for this one because it's going to give us more movement range. After we get these Sea Marauders tools. Pity Doomkeep doesn't have a, you know, keep. Yeah, that, that's very true. Doomkeep with an actual keep would be grand at this point. <sighs> I'm 
radio lands for quick and rebellion. I could do that, um, but I need to heal up first. Then we can raid. Find a lord without a mammoth. I've played, more, I've played a couple of multiplayer battles with some of the other YouTubers and streamers that have the preview build. Ah, here he is. There he is. So I could force... Actually, no, I can just march over there. But we're not going to be at full strength because they'll attack, won't they? So we wouldn't be at full strength. So either we counter once they've gone in. There's the mammoth. Mammoth is in here. Could jump on in. They're going to attack me whatever I do. Okay, let's do it. To the four corners. Right. In turn. Let's see what happens. Capacity to have more building slots in the coming patch. Uh, no, I don't think that's a change they've implemented. Oh, there's Throg. And they're attacking me. Now, I could be cheeky and order resolve it for the win and hope that we get the mammoth out of it. Or we could fight it. <laughs> the last time we fought it, it didn't go so well. Wouldn't be a Surfer Ek without chariots. No, it wouldn't be. S Chariot Spam Lord. You guys want me to fight or order resolve? Fight or auto? Auto, 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 lol. Might be better to auto. <laughs> fight it round two, auto. I think, seeing as we are, uh, seeing as we um, didn't do so well the first time, I, I'm gonna order resolve it. It's still a close victory. Right, number them by 700. Mammoth's still alive though, guys. Mammoth's still alive, so we get the mammoth. Auto will give us mammoth power. That is true. Um, do we sacrifice them? Because we're still going to replenish up. Yeah, let's sacrifice some. That's it. Now we get to go after Throg, so that worked. We drew him in. Now... Vargy Varg Varg. Peace Treaty, Confederation, and also worth seeing if you can demand some money. There we go. They're mine. Okay. So you guys want to see if he has any specific, uh, like, chariot buffs in here. Ooh. He's got some bits here. Selection of the Serpent. Dark Deceiver. Also the eagle. He can get a war mammoth as well. Currently, but he gets his chariot straight away, because yeah. Yeah. Saved me. Yeah, water resolve. <laughs> now slam the doom keep. Um some fighters, riders of destruction, marauder chariot unit, so he's got that one. Hulks of death, Norskin Norskin Giants. So he can increase Marauder Chariot's weapon strength and melee attack by plus fifteen. Uh Norskin Norskin dedicate themselves to any of the gods, yeah. Serpent, Eagle, Crow. He's already got the Ooze. Or Fury of the Hound. That's quite cool. I like that. Um, I'm not going to keep his army though. Because that's really going to wreck our old income. So. Um, units that I want out of your army. Chariot. Uh, do you want the Norse Warhounds? Definitely obviously the Mammoth. Mammoth, Chariots. Anything else we want? Warhounds, perhaps? So just throw into Warfrick's army, which we're then going to send up take on Throg. But we'll have a Mammoth. Obviously! Um, I'm going to keep the Mammoth. Fear not! All your Mammoth belong to us. Yep. Act everything can't build.
all the javelins. Are hounds worth a keep? Keep the hounds. Yeah, I think the hounds, they're pretty good at sweeping aside the, um, the javelins, the hunters. Drog will have all hounds as well, that's true. Okay. Let's pop you here. Let's see what we want to do. Um, I probably don't need all the... Uh, actually, I probably do need all the spearmen against Throg. So when do I get a mammoth? I've just gained the mammoth now. So I'm going to swap out marauders. We want the chariot. So that's another marauder unit. We'll keep the regiment around an one. And I want the two warhounds as well. Uh, you guys are saying keep getting another javelin unit. Okay, swap you out for you. I'm not going to bother with the horsemen. Great weapons. Yeah, that's true. So they can... Okay, I'm going to swap out another one of those. So we're still two units down. So it's going to have to be a berserker unit. Or I get rid of all the marauders. Why is the mammoth named Tim? Um, no reason. <laughs> Get rid of Regiment Renown for now. Uh, Ice Horn Marauders. Get rid of Berserkers. Well, we've just buffed them a lot. Let's get rid of one of the regular ones. We're still one, one down. Okay, so we'll get rid of one more Marauder and then we'll keep the Regiment Renown Marauder. That's the one. So, in this army, just grab them all. Merge them all. Check back to this army. Uh, merge all you guys. And then swap you for you, Berserker. Spear for spear. Marauder for Marauder. Uh, that's what we can do. Okay, now this army goes night night for now. My challenge Slightly negative. Um, we need that for tier four, so I'm, I'm going to get rid of you, uh, Blades. Doom keep. Throg's going to probably smash you into oblivion pretty quickly. I won't upgrade you. I'm going to Where's save the rest of you. And I am... Oh, no, you got to stay where you are. Right, Champions of the North, Mordor Champion Units, Hardened Hunters, Beast Slayers. We can get Stand and Die next. What should, what should we get here? Champions of the North, Hardened Hunters, or Beast Slayers? Beast Slayers might be useful because we're about to go up against Throg with his trolls. What's the hotkey for merge? Um, select all the units that you want to merge and then control M. Or you can just do the little merge button on the... that appears up everything else. Prepare to defend, yeah. Beast Slayer, yeah. Yep, 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 yep. yep. So yeah, we've got to prepare to, prepare to defend. We're going to get attacked with Doomkeep. Probably lose it. He's he's already got Trix's Helm. Nice. So yeah, we'll move around from here and go up against Throg. Our chariot. We've got the Maraud Chariot, which is going to be nice. And we've got a Mammoth, which must be named Tim. Just, just Tim. Done. Tim the Mammoth. How useful would be so to be for late game? Um, Anti-large, tends to be going up against, but yeah, probably quite useful. Um, we're going to get slaughtered here. So I am going to auto resolve your face. No witty nickname. Just Tim. Just Tim, right. He's I taken Doomkeep. Oh, you coming? Uh, yeah, you're declaring war as well. <laughs> Throg is just not holding any punches. He's just coming in swinging. So yeah, over to the Bay of Blades. 
the eternal challenger. Voyaging. In we go. Heal up here for a few turns and we can get up towards Doom Keep. Or if he goes around this way, then we zip around the bottom. Um, and yet, for now, I want you to have the first dash building, please. Saving my moon there. Beoblades. Beyblade! <laughs> God, I remember those. Don't one versus one against him with your lord. No, he will. Re oh dear. Oh, you traitorous turds. You couldn't have chosen a worse time. Uh, plus, I'm about to get that rebellion again as well, aren't I? Which will be here. We could pop in some defenses. Might just be enough to hold. I don't know if they'll attack us straight away. In fact. If I do that, then yeah, there we go. We buy the time for those defenses to pop in. My challenge, undeniable. So actually, what we should probably do is pull back. Actually, deal with that rebellion, then go after Throg. I don't know where he is yet. Recruit a lord to help with the rebellion. Yeah, we could we could recruit lord actually. That is true. We could pop him in just for like a turn, and we could even recruit a few units. Gonna bite your pillow. Rough times to be coming. Yep. Confederating is gonna be key, yes. Really want to just go after him, but we need that mammoth to replenish. So we need a couple of turns of just chilling. <laughs> yeah, I think I'm, I'm going to pull back to Longship Graveyard for now. Especially because those enemies are on their way. He's now back in there, so I can now tax it. Um. To the four corners. If we pop him out, the there will be a rebellion Quiet. next turn. Let's fight. Still replenish up quite nicely. The rebellion will go straight in, so let's Yeah, let's do that. Just so we can pop it once he's back, and then we can use it as a free level up. Ultimately, even if Throg comes to me and I have to battle him out one on one with my army, with Wolfric, that's still fine. Savages. Why are there Savage Orcs up here? That's not going to end well for you. There we go. Got a force march just outside the settlement, so if the, yeah, when the rebellion spawns. Would love to build that. Can't afford it. There's the rebellion. Now we could let it build up for another turn, as some of you have suggested. Because that will knock away more of the unhappiness. I think we can afford to let it grow for a turn. Oh, so it's the Skull Takers up here. Alright, alright, alright. So, just so I know, what's your Lord's name? Yeah, Gulbranson. We come up against you. You to wreck you. I did wreck Wolfric with Throg in my YouTube series, yes. Um, this is on very hard difficulty. Landy Tribe. I will hear you. Let's find somewhere. Hey. At least I know they're not going to come after me anytime soon. We've got six. God, they've, they've built up very quickly. <laughs> so I need to find their lord. Kill him. I can hit Pack Ice, Pack Ice Bay. Uh, is Throg at war with them as well? You know, is it all with Cracker Drat? I was kind of hoping the dwarves would just go and really wreck him in the butt. Uh, 
Uh, when will they open Total War Arena? Do you know about chance I'm not allowed to talk about it? I don't actually know what their plans are. They've got their alpha weekends every so often at the moment. Um, hopefully they're planning to expand that soon. Okay. Right. Let's unleash Tim, Challenge? the mammoth. Finally, a fight! I'm going to order resolve you, but I really want to get Tim into, into battle because I want to see that mammoth in action. I'm going to sacrifice you because I want more money. Helm of Discord. Oh, what a find. That's a good one. It's got those warhounds if you want them. Yoink. And goodbye. Yep, sacrifice again. The eternal challenge. Could go and sack Pack Ice Bay while I'm on my way. While I'm on my way. Not Wolver Nordland, no way, no. No idea where Throg is or what he's doing. Hopefully not coming after me. GG Rebellion. It's alright for now. Uh, we can now afford to upgrade that. The eternal challenge. Oh, we need five points. Yeah, more beast slayers, please. Yeah, I'm gonna go and take this. Pack Ice Bay, you're mine. There is your lord. Cool. Well, if he comes towards me, that's fine, because I know Mammoth. Smashy, smashy. <laughs> oh, he's sending an agent. Probably dealing with the dwarves. I hope he's dealing with the dwarves, because he should get wrecked by them. Corpulent sales. Um, huzzah. You know what? Further campaign movement range. Income from post battle loot. Commitments for all Marauder recruits. Vigor loss. Income from sacking settlements. Yes. To the four corners. In we go. Oh, they've got ice trolls here. Goodbye, though. Tim killed 55. Or captured. Killed and captured. Oh yeah, sack. In fact, now might be the time where I actually... Mm, I could occupy you. Worst case scenario is I, I, I leave it following on from this and it, there's just a Chaos Rebellion and it gets taken. But they won't have it. Oh yes, he's coming. He's coming to attack me. Good. Stand or die, please. We can also get Eyes of the God. Eyes of the Gods, rather. War of Chaos, Eternal Challenger. Um, yeah, we'll get Stand or Die, though. Quite useful for us. Oh, we've got, we can get our quest, can we? No. Oh, the mammoth stuff to kill. Um, not well. If you have missiles that are anti-large, then no, they they you can take a mammoth down quite quickly. Yeah, they're coming for me. Good. They're bringing an army over that way. Quest issued. Have four mortal berserkers in my army. The eternal challenge. I ah, uh, I'm not sure if that counts. It should do. You're coming to attack me with your skin wolves. High Strike Fjord has a couple of extra units. Could force march to here, but I imagine they've actually gone into ambush stance. I don't want to be tired again, that was a mistake, so let's go normal stance. My challenge undeniable. If they attack it, we have to defend it. But they'll still be in the area so Wolfric can come in and go boom. Just like that. Confederation, Britonia. Okay, so I imagine their ambush is, is waiting for me there. I am the wanderer. And I want to spring their trap a little bit. Um, I wonder if they're gonna. I'm gonna actually ambush and see if I lure them in. Oh, 
Oh, no, it's like such a lovable guy. 10 out of 10 would buy him a beer. Ah, oh, thanks, my jokes, and I would buy you a beer on the second round. Much appreciated. Come on. Come into my trap. I think they're sending that agent against the dwarves, so that's, that sounds like... Yes! Ah, oh, okay. You're, that's fine. That's fine. We've discovered him. He's raiding me. Okay, well this is perfect timing to kind of wrap up the stream with this final battle. We can unleash Tim the Mammoth! Die. You were gonna get so wrecked. Oh yes, 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 yes. We have a charge bonus as well, Savage Blow. So, that Mammoth has a charge bonus of 100. <laughs> you can die, son. You can die. You've got lots of spearmen. Well, I'll credit you for that. I mean, you're, you're good against Tim. So we've got to be careful. Don't send Tim into the spearmen. Marauders and avoid the javelins. Let's do this. Uh -huh, will you be my woolly mammoth? Yes. <laughs> Thanks, dragon. Appreciate it. Stream has been going since 7 p.m. Uh, so an hour and 47 minutes. And I'll be wrapping up the stream for now. After this battle. If I lose, though. Oh, dear. Yeah, it's all the javelins out in front. They've got a crap ton of javelins. Wolfric can try and tank him. Could send the mammoth into his face, to be fair. And skill the hunters. Yeah, this is an anti mammoth army. Skin wolves. They're actually, yeah, quite low. I wonder if the wall these, these could probably tie them up and the hunters on that side. So let's. These guys over here. Got that chariot for all the destruction. They are actually coming downhill towards me, so that's not grand. Chariot, though, on this side. Actually, both my chariots. There we go. Double chariot action. Um, spears, I'm going to pop you guys here. And then berserkers, marauders, all together. It'll be a Big nasty line. Wolfric go here and the mammoth. They have axes and stuff over here, so yeah, focus the mammoth here. Let's take a look at him first. Tentacle trunk. Mm -mm -mm. Uh, info on the legendary law changes. You can find them. It should be uh, if you look on the Total War forums or the social media posts, Twitter, Facebook. Uh, the foundation um, update, I believe it's called, or patch, is the one you want to look for, and it has all the details regarding legendary law changes, tweaks, and all the. Right, let's fast forward while we move forward. Wow, fireball! That's just cheating. Mammoth, go. Chariots just keep taking them out over here. Break the Lord. We should be all good. Yep, smack them over there. Oh my god, skin wolves are so good. Oh, 
Wilfric the Wanderer. Tim has just broken all these guys. Send Tim over here. Obviously, want them completely gone. They're about to lose their lord. Chariots, keep going. You guys want the mammoth zooms. Send them in over here. How are you not dead yet? Enemy Lord, there we go, wounded. Here's Tim. Who's a good Tim? There we go, and that's a win. And now all your lands belong to me. going to be a big barbecue if we lose Tim. Yeah, that is very true. Tim got 136 kills. <laughs> Tim's a good mammoth. Well done, Tim. And I'm going to sacrifice you because uh, then I'm going to eat you. I'm going to claim your skin walls. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to get my skin walls back. Ruby Ring of Ruin. Yes, that's what your lord had. He now dead. Well, he wounded. All your base belong to us. Ah, Miststalkers for mere warriors. Nice. Right, let's just get that confederation done. So I'm going to claim five territories. A timely arrival. My warhounds have not eaten in days. Right, Ramsey. And mine. And, uh, and I've got to replace his army with someone. Pop you in. But that, uh, I don't have enough money to keep that going. Well, I have 10k in the bank. Possibly. Possibly. Speak. Yes. Um, eh, we, could, we could keep your army, I guess. Got to deal with Throg now. Throg is the biggest threat. I do really like that with Norska, though. You can be on the back foot, but if you can get a battle like that, take out their lord, and if they've done really well, like the uh, um, Van Heimlings had, then I just grab all their territory. So that was uh, that worked out. That worked out very nicely. It's just winter tooth to deal with. But then, when we, if and when we confederate with them, we've immediately got to deal with the dwarves at Cracker Drac because they're going to be a pain. Anyway, that's where I'm going to wrap this one up for now. And uh, I will. I have recorded this, so I probably will toss this onto YouTube. So if you're watching it on YouTube, I hope you've enjoyed. And uh, the plan is that I should be back same sort of time next Wednesday here on the Total War Twitch. Um, 7 p.m. BST, so around about 9. Might possibly be um, an hour later or earlier, depending on various bits and pieces. But keep your eyes peeled on my Twitter, at LionHikes10. Uh, that's where I'll announce. Uh, but yeah, cheers for tuning in. Thanks for all your, your help and suggestions. It's much appreciated. And uh, yeah, glad you guys have enjoyed. So until the next one... Ciao for now.